Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success, an online free educational institute. So, we are continuing with the WBC series and today we will be discussing on importance of science section in WBC's examination. So, this video is especially made for WBC's aspirants, for the people who are going to appear for WBC's 2018 preliminary examination. But not only WBC examination, if you are preparing for any other examination like other state civil service examinations, for central government recruitment examinations like SSC CGL, SSC CHSL. So whatever examination you are appearing for, this science section is very much important because this is considered to be one of the scoring sections. And if you do well in this section, that actually increases the chance of clearing the examination. So this is very much important. So before going into detail of the discussion, let me tell something about my soul. So, I am Shishan Vindo, a research scholar of Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati. So, as you know, we have already started the coaching of WBCS and we have uploaded few videos on Indian quality. I will give you 100% coverage in Indian quality and in the national movement for the time being and also in science section. As I am from science background, I can assure you that I will give you 100% coverage in science section and our material will be the best material that I can always assure. So now without wasting time let me go to the main topic. So I have already shown you the breakup of WBCS preliminary examination. Okay. So you know there are eight sections of WBCS preliminary English, general science, current affairs, history, geography, uh, Indian polity and economy and then in the national movement and at last there is general mental ability. So this section is your science section. So it consists of 25 questions, 25 marks. Now I always divide students into two groups as I have already mentioned earlier. One group is non-technical background student and other group is technical student. Now, the students who are from technical field, they can easily score well in this examination. But still, you cannot avoid this. Even if you are from technical background, if you avoid this section, you cannot score well. Because nowadays, questions are not coming very easy. So, what you need to do, you need to focus on general science also. Uh, and the best thing is, uh, as far as WBCS preliminary examination is concerned, if you go through your class 10 book, that is enough. And if you are from West Bengal board, then you can go through any of the available books. And if you are from CBSC or ICSC medium, then I suggest you to go through the NCRT books, class 9, 10 NCRT book, because the, those books are the best books as per my experience okay now the people who are not from technical background then you have to give more time you have to spend more time for general science why because uh, maybe you don't have any base in science at the same time you are not attached with science because maybe you are preparing it maybe you are doing history honors or geography honors so the best thing is you have to go through the NCRT books or any other class 10 book thoroughly. Whatever book you follow does not matter because in government recruitment examination questions come from the basic only. But whatever book you follow you have to go through it properly. All the chapters you have to cover otherwise you cannot able to have the best in order to solve the problems. Okay. Now and after after finishing this book, you have to you have to practice MCQ problems. What are the questions that generally come in government recruitment examination? You should have an idea. So what we will do for you, we, we will make several videos on MCQ problems. What are the questions are coming and what are the questions that came in previous years? We will be discussing and that is going to help you obviously. Just a minute. 
So as far as WBC's preliminary exam is concerned, you have 25 marks in general science section. So if you do well in this section, you can back 23 to 24 marks in your pocket. At the same time, you have another section that is general mental ability consisting of aptitude, reasoning and mathematics. So here also you have a chance to score 25 out of 25. So totally if you see general science and general mental ability, you have 50 marks and you can score more than 45 in this section. And people actually score 47, 48 like this. And uh, another section you have English, this is also important. So here also you can score more than 20. So this 75 marks I consider as a scoring mark. So out of 75, if you can back 70 marks, then another 50 you can easily do from the rest 125 marks. Okay, so the strategy is you get 70 marks out of 75 and only get 50 marks out of the rest 125 then it would be done you can clear the examination if you follow this strategy ok so once you clear WBCS preliminary examination then obviously you are going to appear for WBCS main examination now let us see the syllabus of main examination Yeah, those are the papers you have to write for main examination. So what you have? Yeah. So you have Bengali. Most of the people write Bengali and if you are from Darjeeling then you write Nepali because you have another option Nepali. So these two subjects basically people write Bengali or Nepali. So here you have 200 marks for group A, group B, group C, group D for all you have 200 marks. So you can score good mark here because it is your mother tongue. Now then you have English. English is consisting of 200 marks again. If you are good at English then you can score well in this section. Now the main point which I was discussing is science and yeah this section scientific and technological importance it has actually 100 marks because there are two things one is science and scientific events and other is environment general knowledge and current affairs so general knowledge and current affairs basically covers 100 marks so general knowledge and current affairs it has 100 marks and science has 100 marks so if you are good in uh, science then you can easily score 80 marks 80 to 90 marks out of this 100 marks now again you have i'll show you yeah you have arithmetic section see this arithmetic and reasoning section you have total 200 marks and if you are good in mathematics you are good in science then you can actually score more than 190 marks here so can you imagine out of 200 you can score 190 marks in this section and in that science and yeah, current affairs section you have 100 marks in science there also you can score 80 to 90 marks Okay, and in English also you have a chance to score 160 above. So those sections I consider as scoring section. If you perform well in this section then your chances of clearing the main exam also increases. So science and technology section is very much important from the point of view of the pattern and scheme of the examination and then coming your optional subject. If you are from science background, you can take your subject as optional subject like if you are from physics background, you prepare physics well. If you are from chemistry, you prepare chemistry well. So if you are chemistry. 
and there also you can score suppose there are two papers consisting of 400 marks 200 each so then in that 400 if you score more than 300 so if you add it 300 plus 190 which is uh, becoming 490 plus 160 that is 650 plus 90 your 740 so out of you have totally 800 marks and the 50% of that is 900 marks and if you get 55% you may clear the examination 55% means around 900 plus 100 you uh, consider it 1000 marks so only from this section you can get 750 around and for the rest of the section that is you have your Indian history and geography section, you have your constitution of India section 200, 200 marks. If you do little bit well in this section, you can clear it. Here I did not consider the Bengali section also. In Bengali also you can get 150. So by following this strategy, you can easily clear the main examination. So now I guess you can understand what is the importance of science. So the students who are from science background, they have some benefits over other students and I also say the people who are not from science background they concentrate on science because that is the section where people will take over you so you don't allow it to happen and you concentrate on science section and I wish you best of luck for your preparation thank you for watching our video please subscribe to our channel we will be uploading more videos on this